Yo ho ho, what up man? Keep it cool, keep it simple. Yo, what's going on my little dragons? How are we feeling today? If you are feeling good, please do let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like on this video, share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to punch that subscribe button as it will help your little dragon out so very much today. First of all, I want to start off by saying my last few reactions got taken down for copyright, which does suck, but hey, you know, in the upcoming future, we will be, you know, in, on different platforms and I'll be uploading those videos. If any videos in the future do get taken down for copyright, I will upload them on a separate platform where copyright is actually not a major issue. So you guys can still go and enjoy and watch some of my videos, man. Probably not going to redo, maybe I might redo some of the videos that got taken down already and upload it there. The thing is, it's it's just, you know, it, it takes a while for me to make these videos. I deleted them all anyway. I've removed every single one of my videos, even the ones that I have uploaded and the ones that I didn't upload doesn't matter. Once I upload them, it will be gone from, you know, my storage. But if in the future, yes, I will include and put it on some different platforms. So stay tuned for that. So still do let me know down in the comments what you guys want me to react to. Anything new, anything interesting. Do let me know and I will check it out. And also I'm thinking I'm thinking of doing like shows and TV and films, like proper, proper reactions. Films just a bit too long and a bit of a problem. But yeah, if I do something like that, it will probably be on the other account. So yes, stay tuned for that. But now today we're going to be reacting to what if the Titan Boa Snake did not go extinct, man. Now Titan, I don't know what Titan Boa is. I don't know what Titan is. I know what Boa is snake. Um, the form of snake. Boa. I don't think it is the biggest snake. I think, well, it's one of them. The mountains say, well, Anaconda, I think it's the biggest snake, man. Uh, in Africa. Yeah, so the thing is, my my family, my, my mother especially, is very, very, like, she is powerful paranoid when it comes to snakes we even went to india one time and i was actually looking forward to seeing a snake you know there was cobras i was actually looking forward to seeing one of those for my bad luck there's, there wasn't any but yeah my yeah, they're very scared uh she's good she, yeah there's so many people that like their biggest fear is most most people's biggest fear are either spiders or snakes thank god for me my biggest fear isn't snakes i told you already my fear is like you know in the in the ocean being in the middle of the ocean that's like my fear so yeah i'm not i'm not that scared to go check this out man i'm very much excited to be honest so yes would i don't think i've ever touched i've, I've touched um a turtle before that's the only reptile i've ever touched uh that's it i've seen crocodiles i've seen um lizards and stuff but i, I never got a chance to touch them so i'm not scared I'm, i want to uh, if there is any places in the uk that you guys know for any reptiles do let me know because I will be interested to go check them out. But yes, without further ado, we are going to hop right into this. Doi, let's go. Keep it cool. Keep it simple. Now, as soon as we find that remote, we are going to. Ooh, we are going to hop straight into this. Let's roll. And you immediately named the largest snake in the world. I'll give you a hint. Anaconda. This is the name of a very famous horror movie. Did you guess? Right. It's the Anaconda. Wow. If we pair it with the largest crocodile, Cassius, weighing almost one ton, you can write a script for a new horror film. But these giants I don't know, are just babies compared to those that once lived on Earth for a long time. Take, for example, Brontosaurus and Titanoboa. Once, these two predators were a threat of all life, both on land and in water. But what would happen if they still live today? Could humanity survive, or would it be the end of us now? I'll tell you about the ancient monsters that terrorized everything in their path. You'll learn when and where these monsters live, and then you'll or, bring them to the present. You'll see whether these giants will capture our world and if people will be able to put up a fight. Something I think people will be able to put up a fight. We with all the technology and everything that has improved right now, there is no chance. I think we will there is a great chance that we will um, you know, 
get rid of these if they, the monster does you know come out and try to mess us up i think we, we have a good fight in history yeah but that's before you know civilization and science and um or like all the like army and everything that existed yeah these old animals will be able to take over the world but now we'll be able to kill them and even better if we don't kill them and we keep them preserve them and put them in a zoo or something so that we can go and you know watch and enjoy watching them and having them as like in a zoo you know that's what i mean in a zoo we might do if anything does come up i think they're really creating dinosaurs i don't see the point of it but i think they are uh it's not one of those things i'm looking forward to seeing but okay today it's going to be very hot before turning on the time machine, let's get to know our characters better. We'll start with Titanoboa. This ancient snake lived about 58 million years ago. And the according to scientists, for at least 10 million years, it was the largest predator on the planet. Its Yo. length reached 13 meters, or 43 feet, and its weight... 13 meters, are you having a lot? Can you imagine this giant? Here's an illustration for you. If you lay two giraffes on the ground, then Titanoboa will still be longer. Or you can just look at these two vertebrae. The model on the left belongs to the anaconda, and on the right, Titanoboa. It turns out that the largest snake living today is half the size of the ancient reptile. Damn. In width, the mega snake could reach one meter, or three feet. It could easily swallow a young hippopotamus. True, in ancient times, there were no hippos. Titanoboa preferred to eat fish, and this monster could be found in dark swamps and rivers. In addition to fish, it could feast on crocodiles. It was a sophisticated killer. Yeah. The giant monster attacked its victim it crushes its bones in, it. in its strong embrace. Then the snake swallowed it whole and digested it for a long time. Boy. The victim suffered a compression course comparable to one and a half times the weight of the Brooklyn Bridge. So, put in numbers, that's 28 kilograms per square centimeter. Hey, hey, nah. 100 pounds per square inch. Even though the Chronosaurus was smaller in size, it was also a fairly bloodthirsty predator. Its wide open mouth full of many small teeth speaks for Ow. itself. And the size of the predator is comparable to the dimensions of an orca, also called a killer Kill whale. Well. To be more precise, the Chronosaurus reached a length of more than 10 meters, or 33 feet, and its weight could reach up to 12 tons. In its appearance, it was remotely similar to a modern crocodile, only in a very enlarged version. Mm. And even their bite strength is a close comparison. It really? was also a skilled swimmer that probably attacked its prey from the depths. But how do you know? But how do you know this doesn't exist still? Because we only know like five percent of the ocean, don't we? Probably still exists out there. There's a good chance it does. Very powerful rib cage, four flippers, and a small tail. It literally gnawed at its victim, leaving no chance for survival. Chronosaurus couldn't have encountered Titanoboa. They lived in different periods, and even perhaps loved a different habitat. Chronosaurus could live in fairly cold southern seas, but Titanoboa hot. loved very, a very hot, hot climate. But this didn't stop the two predators from instilling fear and terror into all living creatures. So if it was around now, it wouldn't be around here. Now, let's imagine that these two like monsters Africa or South America or something. And that they still peacefully coexist with us. Although, would it be peaceful? This is a big Yeah, question. but it wouldn't be in a like, cold place. Yeah. survive to this day. It could well be found in the equatorial tropics. For example, Titanoboa would love the hot climate yeah. of Colombia South America. or neighboring countries like Venezuela, Brazil, Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, or Panama. Obviously, people would have to more carefully protect their homes from the intrusion of Titanoboa. Nah, However, executed. it's unlikely that the snake could crawl unnoticed into a house. It would have no trouble knocking out a window or even breaking a door. Fortunately, this behavior is still unusual for snakes, but all the 
was saying in order to protect themselves from intruders, people would have to surround their homes with high voltage fences and keep a big stun gun under the pillow just in case. The noisy megaphone would not have yeah, a single a little. chance of survival, only if the snake doesn't accidentally wind up somewhere under the heating bag. A comfort that a reptile might appreciate, but food in the form of rats would hardly serve it. Yeah. By the way, most likely she much. wouldn't be interested in people as a food source. In horror films, the anaconda often devours people. However, in reality, it rarely attacks a person. It can be assumed that its distant ancestor would also be indifferent to us. But for people, Titanoboa could be a welcome trophy. Any zoo in the world would dream of getting such a valuable specimen. And its yeah. skin would be well, said. real hot. People who catch these huge snakes would become real national heroes. As for the super snake diet, in our world it would find something to eat. Alligators, turtles, river dolphins would suit the giant in all I like dolphins on Animals like on land would also have a hard time. Yeah. Giant armadillos, manatees, tapers, cougars, jaguars, caimans, and Brazilian otters would be endangered. Sure, adults would be too big, so cubs and young animals are what they need. Titanoboa wouldn't mind eating fish since it's a more familiar diet. As a result, the food chain would be broken. Some animals would probably migrate to safer areas, but the fauna of the forests of Amazonia would be greatly impoverished. Although, insects and fungi would start to flourish in and all. Very soon, there'd be no trace of the once lush vegetation. Chronosaurus would hardly have liked life in our condition either. In ancient times, even turtles were the size of a kitchen table. Eat just one and feel full all day. But such a monster would need about a dozen modern turtles. And then I still doubt it would be enough to eat. In addition to turtles, the ancient monster fed on plesiosauria. But in our world, he'd have to look for an alternative. Most likely, it would switch to large marine mammals. It wouldn't be able to swallow a whale all at once. But in parts, then sure, it couldn't eat completely. Such a huge body would need tons of food. Like a giant meat grinder, it would sweep away everything in its path. People would suffer greatly due to a shortage of fish in the seas and oceans. Yeah. Fishing itself would be very risky due to the existence of an underwater hazard. Ships would have to be built to be much more solid. Okay, that might be... The extinction of whales, this one might be hard to execute, but... Uh, yeah, that's true. It might get rid of all of our seafood privileges. ...to extract thousands of tons of carbon from the air. In the underwater depths, there would be a daily battle for life. Given the size of the monster and its ferocious disposition, there could only be one winner. We'd have to forget about tourism and sea traffic in monsters' habitat completely. This place would be marked on all maps in red, and anyone who dared to go there would practically write their own death sentence. If Titanoboa had the most valuable skin, then a Chronosaurus would have had its teeth. Small and sharp like a saw, they could cost more than the horns of a rhino. Today, they're one of the most expensive materials in the world. Their price is about $65,000 per kilogram, more expensive than gold. By the way, did you know that there's a danger of the return of extinct animals to Earth? I'm not joking right now. Scientists don't rule out the possibility. First of all, I'm talking about Titanoboa. There's speculation that it lived at a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. That's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And given the growth rate of global warming, such average temperatures can become a reality. Mm. I'm glad it will take millions of years. Would you like to see ancient monsters with your own eyes? Probably not. I'm not looking forward to dying, you know, dying, getting eaten, man. Um, 
Wow, they should probably make a movie based on Titanic. It'll probably be similar to Anaconda movie. Anaconda movie is crazy. These monster movies like Anaconda, Jaws, um, Godzilla, King Kong. Uh, what was it? What was that? If there's any more, there's probably more. But yeah, those ones are, man. I am definitely not looking forward to confronting an animal. Imagine, but even if I was like the first, so if I came across the uh, Chronosaurus in the ocean or something, people would probably not even believe me, you know? So that's gonna be hard. Or like the Loch Ness Monster. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in the Loch Ness Monster. There's, there's been sighting so many people for years, many, many years, centuries have been talking about the Loch Ness Monster. I don't tech, I don't believe in it. Um, but yeah, like that, nobody will believe you. So, you did the first. But yeah, if it's something that's not ignorable, like that causes a lot of trouble for you and your peace and your people, then yeah, you know, it's going to be really tough. Dude. But. Considering all the things that's going on in the world right now, all the problems and all the um, issues, uh, and all the things that we're still fighting against, you know, we're still fighting against a virus. This is just going to be so hard, and economically, it's going to be so like it's going to be a lot of a um, lot of struggles in a lot of different places, and a lot of tax, and all that stuff is going to be really affected. Or like the share market stock market, these sort of things are going to be affected because. Um, well, I suppose I think it will be affected uh, because a lot of funding and stuff has to go into uh, you know, executing, getting rid of this, so they, they can't be focusing on something else. So yeah, it's going to be a big problem financially for our peace. But yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, I'd be, I'd be out of there. If that was me. Yeah, let me know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys scared of snakes, reptiles? If you guys are, you know, let me know. Personally, I'm, I'm all right with reptiles. Um, obviously, not a man-eating one. I probably will not go near one. But in in general, like, I don't have that fear. But, yeah, it, I mean, I've always thought it would be fun to have a snake as a pet or a lizard as a pet. Uh, they're not going to let me, obviously, at home because I told you my mother's not comfortable with um, reptiles or snakes and stuff. But... You know, I might, maybe one day, maybe one day we'll have a pet, like bearded dragon, dragon, just for that. That would be awesome. Man. Is there anything else I want to add? Okay, we're on. That's it. That's what I say. Today is Sunday. Next week is a big week for me, man. Got a film, got a short film a project that I'm working on. Um, it's going to be really good. It's going to be not the main character, but it's going to be something interesting, something a little bit different that you guys are going to enjoy soon. I've done a couple of like stuff. Um, it's on my Instagram. I mostly talk about it on my Instagram, so I'll drop my Instagram down in the description. So don't forget to go check out some of my, you know, other things that I'm been doing outside of YouTube. It'll be interesting for you. You know, it'll be really fun for you guys to watch um and they're doing something different i want to bring here uh, my character my personality is going to be very different obviously but yeah if you guys are interested in that i'll drop my instagram down so don't forget to go check them out and also my training videos my playlist i made a playlist of my training videos just click on it don't skip through it just watch it or skip through the video if you want but don't like skip past any any videos just watch it just relax it's going to be I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a delight for you to watch it's very interesting in my opinion obviously i can't say about my own videos but in my opinion the way i made it it's going to be very interesting for you to watch and very relaxing that's that's the, that's one of the main like things that i was working on when i was editing them so i'll drop that down also in the description don't forget to go check that out my little dragons i love you all man Hope you're all safe. Hope you're all well, man. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to punch that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a like. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, man. And don't forget to keep it cool and keep it simple, man. I love you all. Stay home, stay safe, stay blessed. Stay awesome, my little dragons. And I will definitely see you all in the next video.